In days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. So a man named Elimelech from Bethlehem in Judah and lived together with his wife Naomi and the two sons, Malone and Kilion. They went to live for a while in the country of Moab. But sometime thereafter, Elimelech died. And, uh, was, and Naomi was left with her two sons, and Kilion, both married Moabite women. One named Oprah and the other named Ruth. After they had lived there about ten years, Malone died. <coughs> and then Kilion also died. <coughs> After some time, Naomi heard that the Lord had come to the aid of his people by providing food for them. So she and her daughter-in-laws prepared to return home. Go back, each of you, to your mother's home. May the Lord show you kindness, for you have shown kindness to me. May the Lord grant that each of you find the rest in the home of another husband. We will go back with you to your people, Naomi. <laughs> return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? Am I going to have more sons? Who can become your husbands? Return home, my daughters. I am too old to have another husband. No, my daughters. It is more better for me than for you, because the Lord's hand has turned against me. <laughs> your sister-in-law is going back to her people and her gods with her. Go back with her. Don't urge me to leave or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. Your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. And there, I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. So the two women went on their way until they came to Bethlehem. When they arrived, the whole town was stirred because of them. And the women exclaimed, can this be Naomi? But she said, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara, because Almighty has made my life very bitter. Now Naomi and Ruth had no way of supporting themselves with no husband or sons. She did, however, have a relative on her husband's side, a man of standing form in the clan of Elimelech, whose name was Boaz. Let me go to the fields and pick up the leftover grain behind anyone in whose eyes I find favor. Go ahead, my daughter, go ahead. He went out, entered a field, and began to glean behind the harvesters. As it turned out, she was working in a field that belonged to Boaz, who had then just arrived from um, Bethlehem. Well, good morning, Master Boaz. Who does that young woman belong to? She is the Moabite who came back with Naomi. Huh. Don't go and glean in another field. And don't go away from here. Stay here with the women who work for me. I have told the men not to lay a hand on you. And whenever you are thirsty, go get a drink from the water jars the men have filled. Why have you found such favor in your eyes that you notice me, a foreigner? I've been told all about what you did for your mother-in-law, how you left your father and mother in homeland and came to live with a people you did not know. May the Lord repay you for what you have done. May you be richly rewarded by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. Did you glean today? Where did you work? Must be the man who finds favor in you. The name of the man I work with today is Boaz. He has not stopped showing kindness to our relatives, the living and the dead. That man is also our close relative. He is one of the guardian redeemers. Tonight he will be winnowing barley on the threshing floor. Wash, put on perfume, and get dressed in your best. Then, go down to the threshing floor, but don't let him know that you are there. When he lies down to sleep, 
uncover his feet and lie down. He will tell you what to do. I will do what you say, whatever you say. When Boaz had finished eating and drinking and was in good spirits, he went down. He went to lie down at the far end of the grain pile. Ruth ap approached quietly, uncovered his feet, and lay and lay down. In the middle of the night, something startled the man. He turned, and there was a woman lying at his feet. Huh? What? 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 Who are you? I am your servant, Ruth. Spread the corner of your garment over me, since you are a guardian redeemer of our family. Oh, the Lord bless you, my daughter. This kindness is greater than that which you showed earlier. Don't be afraid. I will do all that you ask. I know that the whole town knows that you are a woman of noble character. Although it is true that I am the guardian redeemer of our family, there is another who is more closely related than I. If he is willing to do his duty, so be it. But if not, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it. Oh, my daughter. Boaz showed me great kindness, and he gave me six measures of barley, saying, Don't go back to your mother-in-law empty-handed. Wait, my daughter, until you find out what happens. For the man will not rest until the matter is settled today. Meanwhile, yeah. Boaz went up to the town gate and sat down. There, just as the Garden Redeemer he had mentioned came along. Ah, hello. Naomi, who has come back from Moab, is selling the piece of land that belonged to our relative Elimelech. I thought I should bring the matter to your attention and suggest that you buy it. However, you must also know that on the day that you buy the land from Naomi, you also acquire Ruth the Moabite, the dead man's widow, in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property. Then I cannot redeem it, because I might endanger my own estate. You redeem it yourself. I cannot do it. Buy it yourself. Mm. Today, you are witnesses that I have bought from Naomi the property of Elimelech, Malone, and Killian. I have also acquired Ruth the Moabite as my wife, in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property, so that his name will not disappear from among his family or his hometown. Today, you are witnesses. You see, in earlier times in Israel, for the redemption and transfer of property to become final, one party took off his sandal and gave it to the other. This was the method of legalizing transactions in Israel. So Boaz took Ruth and she became his wife. She gave birth to a son, and they named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. You know, King David. Amazing how God works everything together, isn't it? Looks like he had a plan all along. Truly, God works together for good, for those that love him and are called to, according to his purposes. Methuselah Zamblini, signing out. Don't forget, stay at home.